Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Keeping Up With Q. From the title of this video, you guys can tell that I am going to be doing B.D. YouTube video ideas. I decided to do this video because I recently just posted my tips and advice videos for my small YouTubers and that video is like going crazy right now. So I was like, well, what other ways can I help people since obviously a lot of people are commenting and saying that was a great video, helpful tips, blase blase blase. So before we get into this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what you think. And lastly, subscribe to my channel because I'm lit, y'all lit, so we can do that together. Period. So in my last video, I did mention that you should brainstorm and come up with like 5 to 10 video ideas. So I did feel like giving y'all this would be very helpful because y'all probably like cute don't know what i want to do like i don't know where to start but the crazy thing is is i was sent here to help you so here i am so once again i did not feel like writing this out so I took the lazy route and i typed it out on my notes again i'm gonna just go ahead and get right into it and when i do say each of these video ideas i will kind of give y'all a background of it just in case y'all don't know what it is but i'm pretty sure i do because i've done some of these a lot of youtubers do these like yeah so the first one is hair tutorials and currently that's like the big thing on youtube like a lot of females are doing hair tutorials like frontals closure especially because it's quarantine time right now like people don't have a way to get their hair done so now they're just kind of like trying to figure out what they can do themselves so like frontals closure sew-ins um wig installs um how to do it braids road twists like there's so many things under hair tutorials it's crazy so if you know how to do hair definitely suggest that you do that the second one is clothing hauls and this is something that i do everyone does them but like most of the time like people who do fashion on their channel because they shop a lot they bring it to y'all and get clothing hauls because i know i'm the person where like before i started doing youtube because my body is like a certain way i would search like the product and then like it would come up on youtube somebody had it on in their clothing haul or training haul definitely suggest doing that because that is really helpful like i said i do that the third one is a q and a people typically do this in the beginning of their channel um i know me personally i did try in the beginning but it was kind of hard because i was a small channel so what i am deciding to do is like waiting until my channel gets bigger or like probably now so i would have people to ask me questions on youtube instagram twitter snapchat whatever so it's like you can do a q a i mean you could always start it off and then like people on instagram could send it but i feel like it's kind of better when like people you don't know start to send it yeah i'm just curious to know what people want to know so number four is mukbang mukbangs i don't know how to say it correctly i say mukbang but you can definitely do that that's basically where people just chat eat either have friends do it by yourself i know i've done it a long time ago by myself with friends with a college q a um yeah there's so many different ways you can do those public interviews i've done those as well typically people do those in the mall at school like high school college i did mine at college yeah you can really do public interviews anyways like like it says it's public next is the morning routine well i'm just going to six seven and eight so it's morning routine pamper routine and night routine so morning routine you can do that as like summer morning routine spring morning routine college morning routine there's a lot with that Pamper routine is like a new thing that's going around. People typically do that like as their Sunday pamper routine. And it's basically like self-care. Like what do you do to take care of yourself? And then night routine is like the same thing as morning. So spring, summer, winter, college, whatever. If it changes at nighttime, you can do it. If you want to do an updated one, you can do that. But those are the three. Number nine is get ready with me slash transformation so the transformation part is something new i i've recently started to see that a lot in like 2020 towards the end of 2019 but basically people 
come on YouTube, they look a hot mess. Basically, it's like their time to get their stuff together, like get their hair fixed, get their nails done, get their feet done, get their lashes done, all that stuff. People do transformations for back to school. People do regular transformations just to feel cute. People do transformations for their birthdays, like whatever. Get ready with me, you can do that on any given day. Like I can get up tomorrow and be like, I want to film to get ready with me. Like I'm getting ready to go somewhere, so I'm gonna talk to y'all about something that's going on and we can do a get ready with me. Number 10 is vlogs. Everybody knows what vlogs are, so that's like self-explanatory. So 11 through uh, 14, go hand to hand so we have lip playlist in my feelings playlist chill vibes playlist and r&b playlist the playlist thing is something new to youtube i feel like from when i started seeing it was in 2019 i can't remember when exactly but like 2019 2020 especially the lip playlist definitely been something that's trending but it went from lip playlist and now i'm starting to see a lot of in my feelings chill vibes R&B, 2000s R&B, 2020 R&B, 2019 R&B. Like you can definitely mix it up. Whatever kind of music you like, you can make a playlist for it and you can do that. But these are like the common ones. 15 is pranks. Now that's something that I do every so often because that's not what my channel is for. Pranks, what I find the easiest is like lyric pranks. I've done a lyric prank before, well twice. Like that's the easiest thing to do because like you don't have to physically be there all the time it depends on how you do it 16 was on my iphone apple is always coming out with new phones new products so what's on my iphone is the common one like every time a new phone comes out that's the trend what's on my iphone whatever it is definitely still do it like i did my iphone 7 like way after i got it and it still did good did my max after it still did good so it's like you can still do it but it's definitely trending when it first comes out 17 is wash day routine and that's for relaxed hair natural hair it's just like your real hair 18 is clean with me so a lot of college students do this or high school students but like typically towards like the end of the semester in college people do this because their room is a mess after finals and like watching somebody clean is much to me is much more therapeutic than actually getting up and cleaning your room don't ask me why but i just feel like it's easier to see somebody clean their room than you cleaning yours 19 is boyfriend slash girlfriend tag you can always find the questions online like any tag they have i can guarantee you like nine times out of ten it's on google unless you want to come up with your own question that you feel like your boyfriend or your girlfriend should know 20 is apartment tour these come and like people start to move out or like for me i did a college apartment tour so you can do like the college apartments on campus or off campus we have dorm tour so that's the people who probably just got to college and they stay in a dorm the next one is 22 which is a car tour but people typically do those when they get like brand new cars you basically just give a tour of the car because that's just like with product reviews people are going to look at oh well i'm getting a new car but i can't tell based off of pictures how this looks when you can find a video on youtube and somebody's actually showing you the ins and outs of the car that they have 23 is shoe collection i recently just did shoe collection on seven days of q so there is shoe collection and sneaker collection i did shoe collection because i prefer to show everything that i have but like big sneaker heads do like the sneaker collection where they typically have like tons of shoes you don't necessarily have to have a lot of shoes to do it those are typically the people who do sneaker over shoe if you get what i'm saying next is phone case collection and then 25 is lip gloss collection so phone case collection has always been popping since i first started watching youtube like i'm a person that's obsessed with phone cases too so i like cute phone cases as you can see we love a cute phone case so People definitely look at that, especially the ones with like big collections from over time. And then lip gloss collection. The generation we live in, some people are obsessed with lip gloss and they have like a collection. So, I mean like you can do that if you are not even obsessed by this feel like over time. I don't know. It's just something to do. 26 is reaction videos. As soon as something drops, people pop their light up, their camera up, their phone up, and they record their reactions to like music videos, movies, uh, trailers for like Netflix shows. 27 is day in the life. So with this, you can do day in the life of a college student, day in the life of a track athlete, day in the life of a computer science major, a nursing major, uh, day in the life of a dropout college student. I've seen that 
day in the life of a YouTuber, day in the life of, I don't know, whatever kind of life you live in, it can be that day. 28, how to start a YouTube channel. As you can see, I just did that. So, well, yeah, that's basically the same thing. Like the tips and advice and like what to know before you start. 29 is what's in my purse, what's in my book bag, what's in my backpack, whatever. What's in my purse is always trending. And when people get new bags, they show it off. That's also kind of like a review for them too. Book bags and backpacks is typically for like college students, high school students. And you typically see a lot of younger kids that are like transitioning to high school and college watching stuff like that just because I know before I went to high school, before I went to college, I was kind of like, what's a pack, what's a ring, what's a carry around, should I have a purse, should I have a book bag, do I need a book bag going to college, like, I don't know. 30 is skincare routine, cause you know, people need to know how to get those bumps, scars, black spots, whatever y'all got on y'all face, all you use to get your skin looking like how it do. 31 is lookbooks, you can do spring lookbook, summer lookbook, winter lookbook, fall lookbook, teen lookbook, kids lookbook, adult lookbook, college student lookbook, bougie on a budget lookbook, like I don't know, you can come up with literally anything 32 is diy if you don't know what diy is it's do it yourself headboards for school making the first slides making the fur headband making uh, the fur boots making acrylic nails at home so many things that you do yourself at home can definitely help other people so it's like think about them 33 is a dorm hall self-explanatory going to college do a dorm hall, show everybody what you got. 34 is a girl talk and you can either do like starting off, coming up with your own topics that you think young girls, older girls need to know about. And then you can start like with question topics or you can just start off like that. But that's typically what a girl talk is. 35 is for my natural queens, natural hair journey. Or you can do like your relaxed hair journey, transitioning hair journey, like show all that. But 36 is high school slash freshman advice. Let people know what to expect and like your experience. 37 is story time so i know y'all got something that's going on in your life so why not get on youtube and tell everybody how it was because i'm pretty sure it was funny something interesting happened because it's like that story you got to tell your new man or your new friend or whoever new in your life that you met you just got to tell them one story put your camera up tell youtube 38 is assumptions about me. This is something that recently just came up in the past year and basically people go on Instagram and they do the questions thing and then it like says things that you've assumed about me. But 39 is edge tutorial. Definitely a lot of people, I've gotten a lot of views of edge tutorials and people with like different textures of natural hair typically do this, especially like 4C. Another tutorial is eyebrow tutorials. So a lot of my makeup people, they do a lot of eyebrow tutorials. And some people do it to where it's like, they use cheap products just to show people you don't have to go out and buy the expensive stuff. Another one is the TMI tag. So you can also find this tag on Google. So it's basically TMI, too much information. Letting people invade your privacy, basically. Two is the Dollar Tree haul. This has also been coming back up where people go in store and basically buy a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree that they do need but they tell you it's like this isn't a dollar store you probably didn't even know that you need it or you didn't know it was there 43 is outfit of the week this is always something that's been popular and basically while you're in school while you're living your everyday life college whatever work you can do an outfit of the week spring summer winter fall whatever something new that's coming up which is 44 is outfit of the month and I feel like this is really time for something to do to do for a whole month but people have been doing this a lot lately. 45 is studying tips. The college students do this to tell incoming freshmen like how to achieve this GPA, like how to study. Well, not really how to study, but what's worked best for them. 46 is pulling an all-nighter. A lot of younger kids typically do this on YouTube. So 47 is wish list and this goes for birthdays and holidays. Typically around Christmas time, people do this. And basically it's getting on YouTube and telling people like, 
what you want for like your birthday or for Christmas. 48 is back to school supply haul. So when it's time for back to school, you know, I go shopping, do whatever you're doing. If you want to wait until you get back home, you don't want to film while you're out shopping, you can do that. But people typically just come back and show people what they got. And it's like high schoolers do it. And then younger kids is going to high school, watch it, middle schoolers, college students even do it. And you know, people just watch to kind of see like what to expect. 49 is a workout routine. So if you do work out every now and then, all the time, it does not matter. You can do your at home workouts, your gym workouts, and you can start switching it up and doing like ab, core, butt, whatever. The final YouTube video is unpopular opinions and this is something that has been going around since i think 2019 i want to say those opinions that you have but it's like unpopular to people if you get what i'm saying so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below and let me know what you think and lastly subscribe to my channel because i'm lit y'all lit so we can be lit together period and i will see you guys in my next video